Hello friends, I am Dr. Odesh Singh and I welcome you to Odesh Academy. Friends, today we are going to discuss as to which type of actions we should take and which type of actions we should avoid to lead a happy, successful, contented life. Our actions, if they are right, they will give you happiness. Our actions, when they are wrong, they will give us misery. How to choose the right action from the wrong action? That is the lesson of today's lecture. First of all, we have to understand that there are two types of things in this world. First type of the, are those things which are in our control. For example, our opinion, what we think about other people, that is in our control. Our actions, what we want to do, I want to study, I want to sleep, I want to walk, these things are in my control. Our pursuits, what we want to pursue, we want to become a politician, we want to become a writer. These things are in my control. And our likes and dislikes, whom we like, whom we don't like, what we like, what we don't like, this is in our control. And there are second type of things which are not in our control. What other things about us? It's not in our control. You have absolutely no control what other people will think about you. We have no control if other people criticize us or praise us, this is not in our control. Even our success is not in our control because success depends upon multiple factors. For example, when you are writing a competitive exam or playing a match, then it's not only your effort which is going to lead to success, but also the effort of other people. If the other person are better than you, you will not succeed. Reputation. Your reputation is not in your control because reputation is built by other people. It is in the hands of other people. A single blame on you can spoil your reputation, whether it is right or wrong. That's not in your control. And finally, what other people like or dislike is not in your control. So we have to make a very clear-cut distinction. What is in our control? What is not in our control? Now, we come to the course of joys and sorrows. If our attention is focused toward the things which are in our control, Nobody can make us unhappy. If we spend more time on the area or the endeavors which are in our control, nobody is going to make us unhappy. But when you are going to interfere into somebody else's domain or when you are trying to think that others' opinion are, should also be in your control, then you are going to face problem. As far as we are pursuing the things which are in our control, we are not going to face any problem. So if you are focusing your attention on the things which are in your control, you are not going to fault with anybody else. And others will also not find fault in you. You will do nothing against your will because you are doing which is in your control. No one is going to hurt you. If I am thinking something, nobody is going to hurt me because my thinking is not going to affect his thinking. But the moment I try to think that his thinking should also become like my thinking, then the problem will happen. And this happens so many times. People don't like other people's opinion. Yes, you have control over your opinion, but how can you have control over other people's opinion? Don't try to control other people's opinion. They have mind of their own. They have thoughts of their own. Don't try to control them. As far as you are thinking what you are thinking, nobody is bothered. And you will not be harmed for doing what you are doing. So this is what is important, that if you focus our attention on the things which are in our control, we are going to have joy, and when you are going to control the things which are in the domain of other people, you are going to be feel frustrated and you will suffer. So what is the secret of happiness? First, you must focus on the things which are in your control. But maybe that's not enough. Then try to change the things which are under your control. Like for example, if you are a boss, the people who are under control, you must try to change them. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen. People talk about the prime ministers, politics of the country, everywhere things are going wrong, but they are least concerned about what is going wrong under their own nose, their own control. As a parent, you have control over your family, your children. That is the area you must focus. Try to make your children a better citizens of the world rather than focusing your attention on the world. Other children are not in your control. Your children are in your control. Try to control them and take to the right path. Then 
you must focus on the people who are under your influence. There are certain people who are not under control, but we can influence them. For example, your parents are not under your control. Your boss is not in your control. Your colleagues are not in your control. They are not reporting to you. But yes, we can influence them by persuasion, by convincing them to do what you think is right. Do that. But don't expect that they are going to be persuaded. But it is possible. Then you focus your attention on that. But other than that, you should not bother about other things. The things which are not in your control, the things which are not your own, the things you do not have influence, you should not bother about what is going on. Because that's a wasteful exercise that can only bring you sorrow. Unfortunately, most of the people are unhappy over the things which on which they have no control at all. They have no influence at all. And that is the reason that you should avoid such things. There's a very famous quote, don't expect too much from people. The less you expect, the less disappointed you will be when they let you down. People will do what they want to do. If you expect them to do what you want them to do, you are going to be disappointed. It is better that you just try, but don't expect too much. And if you don't expect too much, you're not going to be let down by that. Finally, I would like to say, repeat the serenity. Finally, I would like to each one of you to remember the serenity prayer. God grant me serenity to accept the things I cannot change. There are many things which you cannot change. Understand your limitation. Even your children, even your parents are beyond your control. Even you cannot change yourself beyond a point. Understand the limitation. Courage to change the things I can. But there are things which you can change. Don't run away from that. Definitely you have influence over your children, your parents yourself and to that extent you must try to change the society yourself for the better and then the serenity prayer says and the wisdom to know the difference main problem is that we don't know the difference we waste our energies which we cannot change and don't spend our energies where we can make a change so if you focus your energies on the things which are under your control under your influence and which are your own things you will lead a very happy life you will not have any problem in your life Thank you very much for watching my video and I hope that this lecture has been useful to you and if you focus on the things which are in your control, your influence, you are going to lead a happy life. Thank you very much.